FIFA Women's World Cup in France kicks off on Friday. Seats sold really quickly for the opening match, with tickets selling out in only 48 hours. And with powerhouse Christine Sinclair playing for Canada. Hey guys, this could be our year. Let's take home the cup. Former Canadian women's national players, Claire Verstad and Kaylin Kyle join me now. Guys, good to see you this morning. This is super exciting. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, okay, so what are Canada's chances? Give me, give me some predictions. What are the challenges? What are the uh, chances? Okay, so it's a complicated question, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think their chances four years ago were actually really good. They mm -hmm. had a really clear path to the final um, and a home crowd behind them. The tournament last time was in Canada. Mm -hmm. And they just weren't able to capitalize on that. And this year, if there's a close second in terms of your path to the final, this would be it. Uh, if all the top-seeded teams come first in their group, they'll actually avoid France and the U.S. in the quarterfinals and would meet either team potentially in a final situation. So they'd have to just kind of overcome Germany, and they've done that before. They beat right. them in the Olympic Games once. It's not insurmountable. And the team gelling, I mean, how do you think that's going? Yeah, um, I was actually part of the 2015 team, mm -hmm. and, and so watching the highlights of that, that and losing to England in the quarterfinal was devastating. But looking at the team now, I think there's just a really good mixture of both youth um, and senior players. So they add that experience, but then the youth, they don't really know any different. A lot of, the, a lot of them, it's like their first World Cup, so they're going in excited, excited to represent Canada. I think um, as female our past players, we know how important it is to represent Canada and we always play for the crest and, and never for the name on the back, whereas I think maybe the men's side that might be a little bit different, you know, the money's different on the men's side than it is to the women's. We're just very passionate to represent Canada on the biggest scale um, there is and, and that is the Women's World Cup. And we talk about mental game, I mean how big a part of that, uh, of the tournament that is. Talk to us a little bit about um, how that plays into, you know, having the youth and having some with more experience on the team. Well, I mean, it, it's, the experience part is huge, mm -hmm. and that really does bleed down through some of the younger players. The cool part now, and it wasn't really like that when I was younger. I mean, there wasn't really an under-17 World Cup when I was 17, but now there is. So there's an under-17 national team, an under-20 national team. Even the younger players are getting some experience in a World Cup more professional setting, which is great, and I think it I think it really bodes well when they actually make the senior team. Yeah, exactly. Like Claire just said, I mean, I was part of the U20s, so they did have U20s back in the day, but I wasn't ever, they didn't have yeah. a U17 team. So now, I think John Herdman, he came in in 2011 into the women's program. He's obviously with the men's team now, but um, he laid a foundation. Canada never had a foundation. We didn't really have an identity how we played. We were big, strong Canadian girls, and we left everything out on the pitch, and now I think they add a little bit more finesse to that, playing out of the back and having the confidence to do so and uh, listen more than what 720,000 tickets have been sold so far that's more than at this stage four years ago in Canada popularity well in Europe and definitely and they're yeah. they the professional leagues there are just are, are just fantastic and a lot of the men's teams have women's teams so uh, they really play off well with each other and UEFA has made a big commitment to increase the number of women playing uh, which in my opinion could potentially skyrocket a lot of European teams past the Canadians so it, it, it really is a big thing to have that domestic league where players play and keep sure. their names on their fans mm -hmm. minds all the time mm -hmm. well, it's gonna be super exciting to watch thanks guys for the preview yeah. Claire and Kaylin thanks for being here today. Now, if you want to watch the complete coverage for FIFA Women's World Cup France, tune into TSN. Tournament coverage starts this Friday on TSN. Now